tropical system here, bringing rain into Tasmania, strengthening the winds there across the bite. For New Zealand, actually things looking just a little bit drier as we head towards the end of Tuesday. That's all from me. Bye for now. Live from London, this is BBC News. Israel launches what it calls preemptive airstrikes against Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. While Hezbollah says it launched a wave of rockets and drones in retaliation for the recent assassination of a top commander. We wanted to target Israel's military intelligence or their air force because these two forces were involved in the assassination. We also wanted this target to be deep inside Israel, closer to Tel Aviv. These are live pictures from inside Israel, where sirens have sounded as Hamas says it has fired a rocket at Tel Aviv. Here in the UK, the Prime Minister Sakir Starmer is set to warn that things will only get worse before they get better. And the owner of X, Elon Musk, has criticised the arrest of Telegram founder Pavel Durov, saying it's a sign that freedom of speech in Europe is under attack. Hello and welcome, I'm Samantha Simmons. We start in the Middle East where sirens have sounded south of Tel Aviv as the armed wing of Hamas says it has fired an M19 rocket at the city. These are live pictures of Tel Aviv right now. We're also being told via the Reuters news agency that sirens have sounded in central Israel as well. That's according to the Israeli Defence Forces saying that sirens have sounded in Rishon Letizion in central Israel. Well, this comes after Israel launched airstrikes across Lebanon and the militia group Hezbollah fired hundreds of rockets and drones at Israel in a further escalation of the conflict in the Middle East. Israel says it hit more than 200 sites in Lebanon in what it called a preemptive strike against the Lebanese Shia organization, which itself was retaliating for the assassination of one of its top commanders in Lebanon last month. Hezbollah says the first phase of its attack is over and that it is not seeking all-out war. Our correspondent Lisi Williamson reports from Naharia in northern Israel, close to the border between the two countries. <laughs> 